Nobody really knows what causes this second bulge. Perhaps it's a, a muscle of some kind to support the enormous weight. This is a cast of an individual that's very obviously crippled. And um, I studied this uh, some length and found these two bulges on the outside of the foot. Why? I think it would be morally wrong. I see no reason. In fact, I talked to a small boy, a schoolboy recently, and he said some people say shoot one to prove that they're there. And then he said, supposing they won, that the one they shoot uh, is the last one. Well, my answer to that is uh, if they become extinct, uh, uh, so what? If they're not proven, it doesn't make any difference. We have a lot of animals that became extinct in the past, and there's nothing we can do about it. And if, we, if this animal remains unaccepted, uh, who cares if it becomes extinct? There are a number of um, footprints that I've seen that um, are faked, and this can be done. But on the other hand, there are a few that show some characteristics that I think could not have been faked. This is one such footprint. This uh, cast, I've uh, drawn in the approximate reconstructions of the bones. This uh, is a crippled individual where a couple of bulges have... This is an example of one footprint. This is a plaster cast, which shows a crippled individual. The foot was twisted and two bulges appear, calloused structures on the outside edge. Of the number of Sasquatch is very difficult to estimate, of course, but uh, within the northwestern part of the United States, I would be inclined to estimate in the vicinity of 200, with perhaps uh, at least an equal number in the adjacent parts of uh, western Canada. If there were fewer than that, then it does not seem to be a, a viable breeding population. Any more than that, I would think they'd be seen more often. That's not as convincing as this other track. This is a 17-inch track that was picked up in northeastern Washington state. And this is what was evidently a crippled individual because... You know, as to the total population, I've um, worried about this a good many times, and I'm making now a flying guess that there's in the Pacific Northwest of the U.S. and adjacent Canada, somewhere in the ballpark of 2,000 of them. How does he know this? How does... ...viable evidence to support... This has come from... They lean forward at the hip uh, more than a normal human does or should. When they put weight support on one foot, they bend the knee, so... Whether by coincidence or design, most the Patterson subject walks with the body lean, leaning forward and the knees largely bent so that when it takes a step, it supports the leg with a bent knee and keeps two feet on the ground for an unusual length of time. It also lifts the foot very high behind each step, like so. In addition, yeah, to all those things. It also swings the arms, which is very difficult to imitate, like this. Well, this is something I can do for a few steps rather poorly, but the Patterson subject did it for over 300 feet. I doubt that any human being could be trained to do that.